good morning, everyone. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a mask. Uh, as you can see, someone's going to be here shortly. But before I bring on Laura, and it's Friday, yay! Uh, today's 40 Act Challenge, which I want to get through. Today's challenge is be generous with hospitality. Invite someone over for a meal, or if you're a ner you know, maybe a little nerve, uh, nervous about inviting someone into your home with COVID and everything, go out for a walk or invite them for a hot beverage, whether it's coffee, tea, hot chocolate, hot water with lemon. So be generous with hospitality today. And so today, because it's you know Friday sports recap. Laura! Hi. Yay! Laura's here. Yeah. That's why we're wearing our masks. So, Laura, do I show the video first? Um, we can talk about curling and then we'll go into Okay, let's talk about curling. Tell me about yeah. curling. So, we're in the HCAA talk, finals. Talk to the people over there. Yeah, we're in the HCAA finals, which is really exciting. That's on Monday at 3 o'clock at Oakville Curling Club. So, hopefully, we can win that. There's two teams. There's a boys team and a girls team. And, yeah, so that's super exciting. And then that's awesome. Yeah. So is it, the team must be psyched. Yeah. Well, everyone's excited. Of course they're psyched. Uh, let the energy of what happened Tuesday. Yeah. Carry the curling team. And so then we'll show the video. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is what Laura and her team created. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Give you one more night. One more night. Got this. We've had a million, million nights just like this So let's get down, let's get down to business Let's get down, let's get down to business That, I'm, I'm still bopping to the music Well done, senior boys basketball team Well done, Mr. Gatza Yeah And you were there, weren't you? Yeah, so I just want to say congrats to you guys Mr. Gatza coached all by himself, which was amazing And... You had an undefeated season. Unreal. So good. <laughs> That's the incredible part. Undefeated. Yeah. Well done. And so you were there. So what was the energy like in that gym? Everyone was cheering so loud and like everyone lost their voices practically. It was amazing. And yeah. so the energy was electric? Electric. Yeah. Electric. Well done. And any other sports? Um, well, now no? all our spring sports are starting up, which right. is super exciting. There's a badminton tournament next Thursday. Right. There's a soccer tournament in two weeks. Oh, and so, there's an announcement for oh. uh, girls touch football. Yeah, that's on Monday. Yeah, Monday and Wednesday, I believe. Yeah. And um, what else is starting? Softball, baseball. And yesterday there was an exhibition game for the junior boys soccer team. Oh, how'd that go? Do you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not going to mention it, but they played well. There is yeah. potential there. Um, so a lot of sports starting up. So for those of you who maybe are not crazy about winter sports because it's winter, uh, there's spring sports yeah. and, and it'll be nicer weather, you know, get outside, longer daylight, get out of our comfort zones, try something new. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for the recap. Okay, thank you. And have a good day. Thanks. Say bye. bye. Say, wait, say bye, bye to the people. <laughs> oh, we're just uh, adopting here, everyone. All right, so the announcements quickly. Um, I will take off my hang on, everyone. Okay. Take care, Laura. Okay, quickly, some new announcements. Uh, so touch football. Uh, after, there's a practice after school in the gym on Monday and at Gary Allen after school on Wednesday. So that's new. Put that on your radar. Uh, announcement from Mr. Yurkin. Any guys interested in playing senior football next year, please attend a very short meeting after announcements in the library. So make sure if you're interested, you go to that meeting in the library after announcements. Uh, what else is new? Uh, I think that's it. Ambassadors, you're, uh, there's a meeting after school on Tuesday in room 211. Looking forward to seeing you all there. And well done last night. Kudos to all the, um, the students who stayed and helped with parent-teacher interviews. It was a long night. Um, so be gentle with your teachers. We're all a little tired, but it went well. And track and field, uh, you, if you're interested, sign up at the bulletin board outside the gym doors. And Holy Thursday is next week. If you're interested in helping read, I'm still looking for a grade 10 or grade 11 reader, grade 11 reader. So if you're in grade 11 and you'd like to read for the, your service, come see me. All right. We're going to wait for the bell and I'll be back with the anthem.
There we are. Heard the bell. So everyone, please stand for our national anthem. standing and reverent for our morning prayer and I invite you to name any any intentions you have in the signs of your hearts and we trust that uh, God hears us and knows us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit amen the tenth station of the cross Jesus is stripped of his garments Lord why did the Roman soldiers add to your suffering by stripping you of your clothes before nailing you to the cross was it really necessary or did your torturers know how modest you and your people were about your bodies and purposely wanted to shame you even more? How sad that in our sex-obsessed society, we have become blind to how sacred our bodies are. Forgive me, Lord, for the many times I have judged people's worth by their bodies. Forgive me for seeing someone only as a body rather than as a human being with a soul created in your image. Forgive me for making unkind comments, sexual and otherwise, about other people's bodies and about my own. Jesus, help us to walk the path of respect for all people. Give us the strength to make good choices for our bodies and our minds each day. Help us to treat our sexuality as a sacred and awesome gift. We know that when we don't, it is easy to hurt someone and to be hurt. Help us to love like you did. Our Lady of the Assumption, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, everyone, that's it. Uh, but before we go, because it's Friday, hands up if you love Fridays. Sorry. There, my hands, both hands are up. And, and aren't you glad it's Friday? Of course we are. And uh, for those who are Jays fans, today's opening day, season opener here at home. All right. That's everything. I had to squeeze those things in. Sorry. Uh, that's everything. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. You guys are instruments of God's peace and forgiveness and compassion. So be that light, be the salt of the earth, and let's make good choices. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.